The chairman was surprised to see the cleaning lady putting orange peels in the bucket while mopping the floor. He immediately realized that the cleaning lady in front of him was his long-lost wife, because only his wife used to put orange peels in the water while cleaning. But when he saw the terrible scars on her face, the chairman hesitated to confirm his suspicions. He told the drenched woman to change into a new set of clothes. When she reappeared in front of him wearing the new clothes, the chairman became more certain she was his wife. So he deliberately mentioned in front of her that his wife had disappeared and that their two children missed her very much. However, the woman showed no reaction. At that moment, his son happened to walk in and witness the scene. The son mistakenly thought the woman was seducing his father. He rushed forward and punched the woman. Furious, he yelled at her for daring to seduce his father at the company, even though the woman denied it. He had seen her and his father hugging with his own eyes. He even asked his father how he could be attracted to such an ugly woman, and if he felt guilty towards his missing mother, hearing his son's reckless words. For the first time in 20 years, the chairman hit him. The son couldn't believe his father hit him for the sake of a stranger. Out of revenge, that night, he gathered a group of people and cornered the mother and daughter to teach the woman a harsh lesson. He viciously attacked the woman's daughter. The daughter was rushed to the hospital. The doctor said she needed immediate surgery, or her hand would be permanently damaged. Faced with a surgery cost of 300,000 yuan, the woman had no way to come up with that much money, so she sold the ring that had been with her for 20 years. The chairman quickly got the news. He immediately recognized it as the engagement ring he had given to his wife. He ordered his assistant to investigate the person who sold the ring. At the same time, the woman took the money from selling the ring to the doctor to save her daughter. But it still wasn't enough for the surgery, since the hospital had a partnership with the group. Any group employee could get a 50% discount. So the woman went to the chairman to apply for full-time employment for her daughter. On her way back to the hospital with the paperwork, she was suddenly knocked unconscious by the CEO. The CEO was convinced that the woman had stolen his mother's necklace and was now wearing his mother's clothes to seduce his father. The woman, realizing the misunderstanding, quickly knelt down to explain. She insisted that she wasn't seducing the chairman. She was just trying to raise money for her daughter's surgery. So she went to the chairman to apply for full-time status. After hearing this, the CEO still didn't plan to let her go. Instead, he demanded that she slap herself 100 times. Desperate to save her daughter, the woman immediately agreed. But after she finished, the CEO went back on his word. He didn't return the paperwork to the woman as promised. Instead, he wickedly threw the papers into the nearby pool without thinking twice. The woman jumped into the pool to retrieve them. At the same time, the assistant reported to the chairman the results of the investigation into the woman's identity, seeing that her name was identical to his wife. The chairman realized that the woman could indeed be his long-lost wife. He immediately went to the surveillance room to find out where the woman had gone. He discovered that his son had taken her to the pool. Realizing she was in danger, he rushed to save her. Meanwhile, the woman was struggling in the water. Suddenly, her memories of her son came flooding back. She called out his name loudly. The CEO was curious when he heard someone shouting his name. But he didn't know where the voice was coming from. At that moment, he noticed the woman's wallet had fallen to the ground. When he saw the photo inside, he realized that the woman he had just mistreated could be his mother, who had been missing for 20 years.